Hello, hello. Okay, Mouse is here with me. Come on, you're in my way. Hello, hello. Wait for some people to come in so I could say hi to everybody. Hopefully we get some people here today that are interested in seeing this. I got a little bit of stuff together here. This shouldn't be a, a very long drawn out tutorial today. It's pretty straightforward. Yes, I'm holding mouse. You guys can't see that, but I'm holding him. Right? Hold him with one arm and have some chai tea and relax. All right, go ahead. Hey, Bob. Hey, Kim. Can you guys hear me? I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm not using I'm not using the Ethernet cable today. I had too much problems with it yesterday with it freezing the screen. So I'm just working off of Wi-Fi today. It's it's not long like an auction anyway, so I think I'll be fine. I hope you can hear me. Nobody's saying they can hear me, so I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, good, because <laughs> I just wrote this to see, because nobody was saying anything. There we go. Okay, so we have a super bad lag, and my internet stinks really bad, and I apologize for that. Pay all this money for for nothing. All right, great. I was afraid there for a minute that nobody could hear me. All right, so we have Kim and Bob here so far. Let's see if anybody else trickles in before I get started. I have no idea what I'm going to make yet or what how it's going to look. I just picked a theme and we're just going to run with it as usual. Hopefully people will start coming in in the next couple minutes. How are you guys? You doing good? We're expecting a tornado Wednesday. Hello, amazing Amy. How are you today? So I'm a little nervous about that for Wednesday. The rain's supposed to start tonight and go through tomorrow. And then Wednesday is supposed to be the tornado weather. So every spring here in Georgia, where I live, every spring is tornado season for like three months. And then in the whole fall, it's hurricane season. And all the time in between is rain and flooding and humidity and stuff like that. So life is food. All right. I hear you. I hear ya. Oh, maybe it'll just be maybe it'll just be us guys. A little bit of wind. Yeah, we're supposed to get winds up to 60 miles an hour, damaging wind. We have really bad trees here. It's why it's scary. I don't like being here. I don't want to be here anymore. Um, it's very scary. I can't enjoy a storm. I can't enjoy a thunderstorm or rainstorm with wind because I'm panicking uh on what might happen outside. So I know what you meant. I know what you meant. So I wanted to have uh, some guests come on to show how to make things that they want to make too. And this, this internet situation is just holding me up. It's totally messing me up. So if I get through Wednesday and Thursday, I'll be happy till the next storm brews up. We're supposed to have two storms coming from the west. So I'm in like panic mode. This is why I don't like living. I want to be somewhere where I can relax. I don't want to be scared every spring and fall. Oh, I would love to be up north. 
Believe me, I would love to be up north. I miss it. I really miss it. Hey, Kathy, how are you? It's only five after. Everybody go get your popcorn. Make a coffee. Make a tea. Take a potty break. Check your mail. And we'll get started shortly. Yeah, they're going to take a little drive up there next month. Yep, I know you are. We got to do some practices, but I got to fix this internet first because if it's if it's this bad when it's just me, when I have two people on, it's even more strain on the uh on the internet. So, I mean, last time I had somebody on, I, I got kicked out of the stream three times. And I really don't have the money to spend to get more, better, newer equipment or whatever is needed for this. And I don't want to invest in stuff here when I don't want to be here for the rest, you know, at the end of the year, I don't want to be here. Yeah, like the, the pine trees in New Jersey, I know that, but here it's a different story. It's these big old trees and... Uh, it's just, I can't even explain it to you. And I don't like talking about it because I don't want to jinx myself. Maybe I could talk about it after Wednesday, but I'm, I'm just, I'm just a little anxious right now. So, all right. Well, it shows we have seven people here, so I guess we'll get started. It's seven after. I don't know if anybody else is going to come. If they do, they do. They don't, they don't. Let's just do this for ourselves here. And uh, so today, as you saw in the title, or you may or may not have seen in the title, that we're going to be creating art by embellishing things with jewelry. Um, I just have a box and a couple wood plaques. You can use, you can embellish whatever you want to embellish. Um, since... This is a upcycling show. Um, I did get this box from, uh, it's a paper mache box. I did get this from the thrift store. And I did get all these wood plaques that I have here. Um, I got them from the thrift store also. So they're also thrifted. Um, my my uh, toothpicks are not thrifted and my glue is not thrifted. Um, but the jewelry, the jewelry that's in these trays is thrifted and the things we're going to be embellishing are thrifted. So we're trying to upsell here. So basically what I have here, I use Fabri-Tac to do my crafting with. This is what I use to make my dream catchers with and my mandelas and, uh, when I work on my felt ornaments and everything, this is what I, this is my go-to is Fabri-Tac. So we're going to use this. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Marianne. Hello, Laura. Hello, guys. Thank you for being here. Um, so this is what I'm going to use. It does have a big, a big nozzle on it, but um, you try to control that with a toothpick. I also put down some of that Glad, uh, what is this stuff called? Glad Press and Seal. Press and seal. I got that. That's what I put down on my, um, I put that down first when I work because I like it because it just sticks to whatever you're, you're working on and it protects. Um, I did a quick coat of paint on this earlier. So it just wasn't the paper mache color itself. Hello, Lisa. All right. I thought I got you all excited about painting, Lisa. Okay. So I guess we'll get started. Uh, I'll show you some stuff that I have here. And uh, I'll talk you through it as we go. Beacon Fabri-Tac I have. I have my toothpicks. That's for controlling the glue. Um, my trusty old pliers that were my mom's. 
these here you could i mean these have been around forever you can't cut with these anymore oh my goodness can you imagine if i brought the cats with me <laughs> oh that'd be funny all right so um i actually got a whole basket full of these different shapes and some of them were spray painted some of them weren't some of them were natural i got a whole basket full of these for like five bucks at the antique mall so this is a stained one then we have this one it's just a plain plain wood one you can get them a lot of times people have them at yard sales and then this is just a cardboard box here it is i paid i paid 39 cents for it at the thrift shop uh last week so well i do that too but it's not part of the jewelry upcycling so I've done that several times, even with stuff that I sold in my booth. Pain and energy wand today. <laughs> hey, Patty Paws, long time no see. How are you? All right. So, um, like I said, I just put one coat of, this is actually teal, but the light is really bright here. Maybe if I put a piece of white paper to diffuse it a little bit. Let me see. Does that make it too dark? All right, that's with the piece of paper over the, it's pretty blurry there. That's with the piece of paper over the light. That's without the piece of, oh, it's really no big difference, is it? Okay, so if it gets to be too bright, much of a glare, I'll put the white paper on it. All right, so I guess we'll do maybe two little projects. I um, This is some from some of my junk. Those of you that buy my bits and pieces uh, lots, you know I have a lot of bits and pieces of stuff. So um, I think today we're going to go with a flower theme, nature flower theme. And uh, I don't know how we're going to start it, what we're going to do, but we're going we're gonna to start it and... Uh, see where it takes us i got a whole bunch of ones that look like flowers resemble flowers and i'm going to show you how to even use pieces that don't have all their rhinestones how to compensate for that i don't know there was a piece here somewhere that i was gonna like this piece here you could still use this piece what you're just going to do is is that's my elbow you're going to overlap so you don't see the pieces that are missing when you when you layer the flowers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um move these to the side um going to pull some of the flowers out and that's how we're going to start sometimes you can do an all over pattern um sometimes you could start and do like a part in, and make it like a, a c shape you know you just do it here along the left edge and then maybe put something over here um you could do stuff just around the the edge of the box you could put lace around the edge of the box. You could paint the edge of the box a different color. Whatever you want to do, it's your vision. It's always your vision. So let me move these to the side and wait for cats to show up. So this is just a whole mismatch of, as you can see, just stuff that I want to see what will uh, look good as I do it. Sometimes you just piece it together as you go. Sometimes you could piece it together with a trial run and then all you have to do is glue it together at the end. Whatever, however you feel more comfortable. All right, so move these out of the way. And I think we'll do this box first. Right there. And sometimes you wanna just test stuff out and um, also preliminaries take off like if it's a pin back take off the newbies from the pin back and everything so you're going to have more contact with the item that you're attaching it to um, if you have something with a loop on it pinch the loop off maybe you have something that's got a, a loop on the top cut that off it's always good to have a, a pair of pliers around very helpful so the first thing we're going to do with this one is just take off these extra pieces It's 
sometimes it whoop look at that we got a thing out let's see well, this is very soft metal all right so that one came right off that backer part this one not so much this one not so much this one's giving me a hard time that's okay you could destroy one of those petals if you want it doesn't matter i'll show you what to do with this stuff later too now you could just do with the heads of the flowers on it or you could take some wire from some uh, upcycled necklaces or hoop earrings or whatnot. And you could do like a topiary effect where you're going to have like the conglomeration of the heads of the flowers up here. Then you can use the wires as like the um, stems and then maybe put a bow pin there. So it looks like a little bouquet of flowers. You know, you say cat's mind showed up and is talking to me. <laughs> All right. So whoopsie. So that actually works out better for us because I can put that here where this one was missing. I have to put my other glasses on. I can't see. Oh, that's better. Okay. So what we're going to do first to pick uh, a piece of paper. There we go. Just gonna put some of that fabric tack there. Just hold it in for now for doing crafting. It doesn't have to be beautiful or anything. And we're just gonna put some in there on the toothpick. No big deal. It's a craft project. It doesn't have to be gorgeous. All right, so you're going to roll your toothpick. Okay. And we're going to set that in there. Put that to the side. You can repair things as you go. Um, I think we'll use this one. Now this one has a ring on it because it was a earring. So we're going to take that off. That one's ready to go. We have this cute little, uh, flower earring that has a post on it so we're just going to take the post off that way we have more contact when we when we glue um let's see what else we have here i pulled some leaves i pulled some hearts we have this one just going to take off the ouch there we go took the pin off the back that's going in the garbage can so i don't stab myself again all right i have to macgyver a band-aid right now all right so i cut myself where is there it is and when i cut myself i cover it with some clear tape so i can work perfect and what you want to start usually start with the bigger pieces and work your way to the smaller pieces uh, let me see what else catches my eye here. That's a bigger piece too. All right, so we have this piece. It's missing the center, and it's got this loop here. We're going to take this loop off. 
like that. A lot of this costume jewelry is really soft, so it's easy to take stuff off of. And what I think we're going to do is I have one of these. Oops, what is this in here? Dig some of that glue out. There was something in there. If I had a cabochon, I wouldn't care, but I don't think I have a cabochon to put in there flat back. So, let's see if I have anything flatter than this. Put this white one in here. That should help a little bit more all right let's see if this will sit in there okay that'll sit in there so we're going to take some glue again well this one we could just put right on there <coughs> excuse me and that's just a bead from something we'll let that sit for a minute so we're getting some we're getting somewhere we got these we got this one we got this one that we're going to use to overlap with that needs something in the middle also let me see if i have anything to put in the middle of that one Maybe we'll use that coral colored one for that. Might be too big. Maybe we'll use. All right, we'll use the rose quartz one for that. Get the glue. <laughs> That's cute. That's too cute. Okay. Get more glue. We're just going to dab it around this ring here. Glue strings are the worst. Okay. Let's see if that's enough. Yep, that's enough. All right. Still another glue string. Okay. And we might actually use this guy that I used from my first tutorial painting jewelry all right i think hmm, that one might look nice too use that one oh this is pretty here's a, a little costume ring so we're going to take the ring part off of the back of it it came right off easy peasy Grab some snowflakes too, because sometimes they look like flowers when you do them in a thing like this. All right, I think we're going to start with those. Oh, we got this one too. And we got this one. Let me see, is this some? All right, this has a clip earring on the back, so we're going to get that off. Easy peasy. Comes right off. This one just has a piece of wire on it, so we'll take that off wrapped around and then we'll start assembling and making our muster piece take this loop off here like just like that right simple simple all right so i don't know if we should have the lid up here we're down here I guess it doesn't matter. Let's move these to the side. OK. 
Okay, so I think the first one we're going to do, and you could just pre-lay them out in the beginning to see how you might want them. What is going on there? Oh, that's got a really big lump on the back of it. So that might go on, that might be a layered one. And this one's, like I said, you can layer it. You can actually take those off. The broken pieces you could take off. We already know that the metal is flimsy on this one, so it's easy to... There we go. All right, that should help. That could be good if you want to have it on an edge too and you don't want it overlapping the edge of the box. This one might be a later, an afterthought. Now, like I said, you could just lay them out and put a bunch of flowers and, you know, then stick stuff in between and be done with it. Or you can have one like curved around the side. It all depends on you. So I think the biggest one is the main one we have here. And I'm just going to set that one. That'll set the tone. And we're just going to put a bunch of flowers on this. I'm just going to put some glue on it. Like that. Okay, put that one there. And Like I said, it's up to you if you want them to hang over the edge or not. Uh, this one we might just do this way. And like I said, you can, you can actually, you know what? You can actually lay these out ahead of time or just, you can just wing it. Normally you would have these things already glued and the glue would be dry, but not today, folks. It won't fit on there anyway. So we're going to take this one, probably put it there. That one still has a nibby on it. Okay. If you had a little Dremel, you could grind off the back, backs, you know. This one's kind of pretty, too. I think we'll use this one, too. This is a clip. So I'll take the clip off. There you go. Maybe that one will go there. Okay, so... Let's get the glue. Sometimes people want them sparse. Sometimes they want to put a bunch of stuff. Whoop, get over there. Get over there. To where you don't even see the box then we'll take this one and we'll stick it here then we have 
this pretty one I think will fit right there. Sometimes you don't want to do the petals uh, with glue all the way to the end because you might want to stick a leaf under them or whatnot. I'll take that other part off. Okay, get that part off. All right, that looks good there. Let's get the glue again. Bob, you can craft. You got some craft bags. You got some bits and pieces bags for me. Okay, do that. Get the strings off. Get it off your thumb that it's stuck to. Oh, we're back to our original 12 viewers. Okay, now what we can do as we're putting this together is add some leaves here or there. So I have a leaf pendant here. And we're going to put some glue on that. And I think we'll just take this one and maybe we'll stick it stick it here like that. And then oh, I have a little flower here which is an earring. We're going to take the, the loop off of it. Take it out of it. All right, we're going to put some glue on it. We're going to stick it right in that spot that little spot I see right in there right there now I'm not gonna pick this up or turn it upside down or anything because it's really not that stable because I'm trying to do this just for the tutorial and then just take a look and see where you think Something might look good. Pieces of metal. I think that would look good right there. So put some glue on it. If you like it, then you better put some glue on it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, put that one there. And then I know I had more leaves. There's a leaf. This is a cool leaf. And we have this one. And I think what we might do is put that under that one. Let's flatten it a little bit. You don't have to leave things the way they are. You can alter them. You can change. Oop. Forgot about that little guy. You can alter them a little bit. So we're just going to flatten this one where it was has this little bow to it. We're just going to flatten it. Put some more glue. And some glue. Put that one there. We have this little guy. 
you kind of search around and see where you might want them. Might want them there. See how he's going to look there. Or here. Or you could do them later on. Then we have this guy, which we'll probably put right there. And I probably have some smaller flowers. All right, so we're going to put glue on it. I'm going to stick it there. We'll find some smaller flowers now. Oh, here's another leaf we can use. Here's another leaf. That's pretty cool looking. So we're going to put some glue on that. Glue on both sides. Whoopsie. I'm going to slide that there for now. Then we have these mother of pearl flowers that are on this earring. So we're going to take those off. open up the loop and slide them off like that I'll take two of those off and we have those ready and here's another flower and it's a post earring so we're just going to take that post off the back. So we have another one. And this one's pretty. We're just going to bend those or try to break off those things on the back. So we're going to put that one too. And let me get these ends off. Just showing you here. Just You need a set of pliers in your life, I'm telling you. You absolutely need a set of pliers in your life. Okay. So let's move this back over here. And see how good this might look there. I think that looks good right there. Put some glue on it. Slide that sucker over there. I don't have a bow. And I thought this was cool. This this piece of whatever it is. And uh, I think we'll cut that one. I can get the thing in there. Let me try to bend it up a little bit. But first, I can't find my cutter cutters, the ones that are just cutters. There we go. Yes. And they make these really cute, like, right? They look like vines. They kind of look like vines and they got this little antenna ends looking on them. So we can incorporate them in a little bit. Also have, we have a flower like this and it is an earring again, so we could just pinch the back off. Like that comes right off. Flower 
flatten that. And that might need a center too. See if I have something small enough for the center of that flower. Okay, let me get that clip out of the way. And that may look good right there. So we're going to put that there. Well, we could do virtual group crafting, but nobody has stepped up and said that they wanted to be on to make a craft on this on this uh, tutorial series. So kind of disappointed because I have a lot of crafters in my that uh, are subscribers. All right. And then we're going to get a little let's see if we have a little bead. We need a little bead. Oh, look at that little flower. Sometimes you find things as you go. Okay. I found a little ball bead. Whoops. And it does not want to stay. Okay. So let me get some glue where the toothpick is again. And... Roll some of that on a toothpick. Press and roll onto the flower. Take a little more. Roll it onto the center of the flower. Take the itty bitty ball. Balls. Little ball, put it in there just like that. That looks cute. I'm happy with that. And then we could take this stringies, take this little one. Hmm. Sometimes you think they're going to look good somewhere and then they don't. Um, I have this little flower too. It's a, a post earring. So we're just going to take the backs off. No, you don't have to volunteer to do what I'm doing. You could come on and we can do different crafts at the same time. On We could build, be, both be on the screen together. You don't have to come on and do whatever. I'm, the reason I'm doing this is because nobody wants to come on and show me what they can do. So um, this little guy will probably look good right here. glue right there I mean if you guys craft things I would love to have you do a tutorial and show everybody here what you do as a craft you know <clears throat> I have an idea for that here's another leaf Ooh, more leaves. All right, so we have the this thing with leaves on it. No, I haven't had time. I've been running around like a nut this today and everything. I'm really running myself ragged lately. And that's the thing. I'm gonna have to go there. I can't call them because that's just I'm not gonna sit on the phone for two hours talking to them i want to go in person and say here's my modem oh can't see this so i think this is more in the line of proportion for this flower so we're going to put those leaves on that flower and then we had another leaf here that i had a leaf charm <clears throat> you don't need a video equipment you need uh, a laptop with a camera a pc with a camera or a phone with a camera all right, and then this one. Hmm. Oh, now it's out of screen again. Okay, this one. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that one yet. And let's see, here's another pretty one. This one's blue. It's a post earring. Oh, believe me, uh, that this tornado's come in. Uh, supposed to get tornadoes come in Wednesday. This is the time of year we get tornadoes for a couple months. And I'm just 
getting anxious. All right, so when I took the post off, it took these little gold things off. So we're going to take them off. Uh oh, got one in there. They're stuck to my, they're stuck to my temporary band aid. All right, so we have this one, this blue one. And I think this one would look good right here. So we're going to put that one there. Put some glue on it. And then that one needs a center too. Now we're just going to put some glue on it. I know everything's sloppy, but you know, I don't want this to be like a two hour project. Okay. And then <clears throat> where did that one go? All right. We have this one. I could take a white ball white ball from this just a broken piece where i took those mother of pearl flowers off of so we're just going to straighten this out and we've got a center for the blue flower this one we're going to need to use the toothpick again and i know a lot of you that this is just a basic tutorial it's nothing detailed or anything it's and i know a lot of you probably have done these in the past so um, just trying to give you more ideas. All right. So you do that with the glue and then you put the little center on the flower like that. Then that one might look good with the, that one might look good with the gold tone leaf right there. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it yet. Okay. Just dig in here. Here's another pretty blue flower. So we're just going to take this off. And I think that one will look good in there. So I'm going to put some glue on it. And feel free to overlap them. Don't make them all flat, you know. Make some at an angle. Just like flowers, they're three-dimensional. You can make it more flat if you want. You can make it more 3D if you want. Get them in there. There we go. Now a guy can go in there. And then you can just keep going as much as you want. Take a look. See what might strike your fancy as you... I think that might look good under there. You give that a shot. Take a look at it. See how that might look. Nah. Then I just keep going back to this spot. I think I'm going to put it there. Put some glue on it and put it there. Then we'll take those mother of pearl ones. Yeah, a lot of people do the Christmas trees. I'm trying to keep up with your conversation too. That is true. Each person will come up with a different, a different vision. Exactly. That's what everything's supposed to be your own vision. It's just to give you an idea of a starting point. Put that one there. Come on. Thank you. Come on. Don't do that again. It's actually kind of bright. It's 
kind of bright. I think that's a little better. You can see it a little more. There. And then we have these squigglies that I made. Well, I didn't make it. It was, an, it was actually an earring. And we can see where these might be able to go. See how you want to fit them into the picture. Do one in here, maybe. Ooh, it hit some, it hit some glue already. That's cool. All right, we could put one there and then another one we can put. And turn it, turn it, turn it. So you could get different um, point of views when you turn it. Different positions, you might see things different ways. So we're going to take this, whoops. We're going to take this one and I think we're just going to do it. Whoops, it's backwards. There we go. Let me straighten that one out actually on the end. There we go. Let's see how that's going to look in there. I think that'll look pretty cool. It's hitting the glue anyway, so we'll have that like that. Look at it from different perspectives. Well, actually, I'm going to be doing um, crafts where you, you purchase the kit and then uh, you tune in and you can work on your kit live at the same time I'm doing the live. All right, we'll put that one over here. Um, that one goes like that. I think that would... Be, be kind of fun all right and then you can put little um balls and little beads in between too let's see what else we can add to this Oh, this one's cute. Here's a little earring. Actually, no, because it's got that lace look to it, and that's not what we're going for. Oh, I found another mother pearl, the other earring that has the broken part. So we'll take another one of those off. We'll put glue on that and figure out where we want that. You can do this on uh, tissue box covers. You could do it on large figurines. You could do it on boxes, picture frames, plaques, lampshades. Um, you can draw an outline of an animal or something and fill it in with jewelry and then frame it. You name it. It just, you know, you're only limited by your imagination. And we'll put that one in there. And I think also what we'll do, and we have all those spaces, which I usually have a bag of beads, but I don't have a bag of beads with me. I'm just going to take some glue. Yes, great gift idea. It's great if you do that. You have kids. You can sit and do it with the kids. Just get a bunch of your junk jewelry poured out on a table. What they they might see something that you don't. You know, their vision might be different than yours. You never know. Everybody sees different things. Uh, where is that bag of beads? I have a bag of beads here. Oh, got it. Got it. Little bag of beads. A lot of these are gemstone ones. or Jasper and Amethyst and Lapis. 
And then you can even put some chips in there. So let's get some glue. Put some glue down. And maybe we'll put one right here. Sometimes it looks nice with the faux pearls. Put a faux pearl there. And we could do another one. Like I said, keep turning it. Keep turning it so you get a good overall view of it. And we have a black one, a little onyx one. Put some glue on it. We can put that next to that one. And maybe even use some stone chips. You never know. Here's another faux pearl. We could dip that in the glue that's on the paper here and we can stick that one right there that and we have another one And we can put another one here. Just to fill in some of the gaps. You could do that as much as you want. Or as little as you want. Or not at all. It, it depends how you like it. But the faux pearls have a, a, a nice look to them with the flowers. Okay, then we'll put another one maybe in there. Put some glue on it. Like that. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for the kind words, too, everybody. Let's see. We can use one. Keep turning it. Get a good look around it. We can put one here. In that spot. Like that. This is really bright, this. Is that less bright? It's a little less bright. I think. Okay, and then you just keep going as much as you want. Let me look at what else I have here. Here's another little um, little flower. So we'll take that one off. And another thing, let me get that one piece out I was going to use. Another cool thing. Pinch off this stuff, this flower here. Let me get the thing off of this. Another thing you could, if you didn't want this little flower flat, you could just take the end of the uh, the post on the earring, make it into like an L shape. Like that. And you can take it and dip the L shape in your glue. And you could take this and make this a little, uh, three D flower. Like that. 
It doesn't have to be flat. There's another flower here I wanted to show you to do that with. So that's a good use for the um, post earrings. Where did that big one go? Here it is. So I had this thing. I don't know what it is, but look at the end on that. It looks like a cocktail thing. And uh, it's a porcelain flower. It's got some chips in it. I would I would normally touch this up with some uh, enamel paint before I would use it. But we're just doing this for the sake of the demonstration today. So what I'm going to do is just bend this. I'm going to bend it a little. Bend it up a little. Like that. So it kind of looks like just the stem of a flower. And we're going to have to figure out where we want this to go. So I think we might stick this. Hmm. All right, it's not going to stay there. We'll do it this way. Trial and error, guys. Now I would take that, put some glue there. And hold it there for a little bit. Things aren't always going to stay as soon as um, where you put them. Sometimes you have to hold them where the glue sets for a bit. So put that one like that. Just prop it up for a minute. Prop it up with something. Let me get a piece of paper towel. That's too big. Just prop it up till the glue sets. Like that. To hold it up. If you want that 3D look. And then. You know. If this is out in a garden or something. You have wildlife out there. And I happen to have a couple earrings that have, whoopsie, butterflies on them. So let me take the ring off of this one. And this butterfly. And he's a smaller butterfly, so he's going to go on a smaller flower. Hello, Annette. How are you? Thank you for coming. And we're going to put some glue on him. And how he would look pretty cool is if we put him on this um, flower, but we're not going to do that. We're going to put him on... I think we're just going to stick him over here. And then we have another butterfly earring that we're just going to take the loop off of. Excellent. Take the loop off of it, put some glue on it. Figure out where we want to position him. And... He may look good. Mm -hmm. Just keep turning it if you don't see a place that suits you. Uh, we could do him right there. And then if you guys remember from my first tutorial, here's the dragonfly that I made that I painted. And I think we're going to put him over here. I think he'll look pretty cool. Get some glue. We're just going to let that, let 
that flower sit with that towel on it and we're going to put some glue on the back of the dragonfly it needs more glue and we're going to do him like hmm him like that there and we still have a couple little flowers and some more balls we could drop a lot of balls and pearls and uh, such in there hello Bemos how are you thank you for coming And we'll put this gold one here. So it's not getting stuck to my finger. And it got stuck to my finger. Get off my finger. No. Get off. Okay. Got too much sticky stuff on me here. And we have like a stone nugget we could put in somewhere wherever we want it. Just take a look around, see where you think it might need it. Take a look, see. And I think we'll put it over here in this spot. that there then we have hmm I should have got some more beads got some beads on this one take off have some on here on this hoop earring We'll just snip the hoop earring. Oops, wrong pliers. We'll cut that hoop earring. We'll get these beads off. Got some yellow ones here. So we can put maybe. It's going to be rough in there. Need a little bit more reinforcement. And maybe we could throw a yellow bead in there. That would help it. Like that. It might help the flip. Flower stay straight. And then that won't look good there. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. Got some more stone. Another faux pearl. Get some more glue. Put some on the faux pearl. And we can put the faux pearl somewhere. Put that here. And we have a green. Looks like some peridot. We could throw some peridot over here. Okay. 
And don't forget, guys, I, I'm going to be making more bits and pieces bags. So it's going to have a lot of little stuff like this that uh, you see me making with my tutorials. Oh, thank you for being here. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for being here. All right, and then we have another faux pearl. And we can take that one. Put it in there. And we have some malachite and we can put some malachite here wherever you find little spots here and there for this stuff got some red jasper and we put some red jasper in there And we've got a pink ball. Figure out where we want that. Put pink here. If I can get it off my thumb. Get in there. Oh, good. Come relax. Come relax. Take a load off. Take a, look, take a look and see where you might want another pink one. We can put one under the wing here. Like that. Another piece of peridot. here thank you for being here it's Debbie right if I remember correctly put something in there just take your Toothpick and poke them in there. Yay, I remembered, I remembered. Okay, we'll do another pink one. Over here. This one looks pretty cool just poking out by itself. Hopefully it'll stay. And I don't think we need any more. Mm, that might look good there. We'll put that one there. That one there. And... We do have another butterfly that we might... I think that's too much. That's too much. He's too chunky. It's too much of a chunky butterfly. And then that hoop earring that I got the beads off of, you could take that hoop earring that you cut and you could cut it in half. You cut it in half. And what you could do is you can make a couple more squigglies could put a curve on the end like that like we did with the um when we made the tree of life like that right and then you could just you can make squigglies with it actually i want to see if i can wrap it around my pen 
yeah I'm just gonna wrap it around my pen a couple times like that and then we're gonna take the other one round off the edge of it make a little loop like that and then we're gonna take it hold our thumb over the end and then we're gonna wrap it and wrap it and wrap it kind of short but we could pull them out a little bit more like that and this one like that and then like we have these curly cues here and here we could put these curly cues so they look like little vines and you can even take a little flower if you have little light flower from earrings or something and you could put the you could put the little flower on the end of the curly cue if you wanted to all right then we're going to put glue on it like that and those are facing up facing down and then this one's going to face let's see we can have it facing get in there all right it's gonna have to go under the flower or here and have it go that way and then you could put this one somewhere else And this one can go this way in there, which would be really cute. Get rid of that towel. And, and you take it as far as you want to take it, guys. I think I'm going to put a couple more fillers in. I just don't have many options right now with the bag I have. Okay. I'm going to put another filler. Another one there. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for being here. And let me say, you know what? I think I'm happy with it the way it is. Everybody's different. Um, if you want it to look good from one angle, or if you want it to look good from all angles, I think, I think that's good enough. And I will show this to you. Here you go. And this is just a uh, plain old paper mache box you get from the store. I, I thrifted it from the uh, from the thrift shop, but that's it if you wanted to put ribbon around the sides or lace around the sides and you can see the 3d effect it has it's like its own little garden can you see that i'll show you from different angles So it looks like a little, little forest or something, something that you would see in the woods. But you can see how it's got that 3D effect to it. And I'm going to bring it forward and down, I think. So maybe you could see it better away from the light. There you go. Let me see if I could bring this up higher.
There you go. Try to give you a better look without the light shining on it. Let's see if I could bring it back even more. Trying to get it away from the light. Let me put the light on here for a minute. It might help. Let's see if that made a difference. And there you go. Like I said, you can, uh, anything that you could put jewelry on. I mean, in this, you know, this doesn't have to be all fancy or flat or whatever. You do it the way you want it. You could have just done part of it if you wanted to. Um, what you could do. So basically that's, that's it right there in a nutshell. I think it's cool with the little squigglies and stuff, that 3D look to it. You can even put a, uh, some kind of thing with a stem on it, and you can make it a ring holder on the top of the box. So I'm just going to tilt it around and show you guys. This is all done with junk jewelry that I had in my junk jewelry box. This box I got at the thrift store for 39 cents. This is all upcycled stuff. You see those curly things. The different flowers and leaves. Like that. And then if you want, you could take something like this and you can do like a curved design you could start like with the flower there let me get this apart you could take the chains and wrap the chains uh through your design like vines I mean, you can have this guy and, and then you can have the flower and then you can make a branch with something. Let's see if I have anything to make a branch with. Well, I have this leaf too. Let me take the back off of that. And take the back off of this one. And maybe we can have him sitting on the leaf. And then you can have a flower in the in the background. Well, this, now it's too dark here. Yep, you can use wire to make a branch with. You can use uh, the chain link if you want to make a branch with. I'm trying to find something here that might be good. Now I have this, this necklace that I didn't use the flower on, but I, you could take this off and you see this is a wire. And you can actually cut this and make a branch. So I'm going to cut the suede off of it there. And then we can unravel this. Or not. I think maybe not. And what we're going to do is just make some of it straight. Get this out of the way. And then you just bend it like that. Long cutters. You could cut it there. And then you could take this part. I don't know 
maybe we could just do bend this down like this. So I don't think we're going to be able to use the suede on it. So let me get that off. You could use that for something too, curly cues. Yep, you could also use a chain. <clears throat> you could take this, fold it over. This is pretty heavy wire, so I don't know if it's going to do what I want it to do. Probably not. I want it to flatten, but it's not going to flatten. But you could twist the wire to look like a branch. But just, just an idea. Just a little quickie here to show you. you just finagle it and make it look like something. Bend it up. Twist it around. Something like that, maybe. Have him on a branch. Like the branch he's standing on, you could line that up. Actually, it's not flat enough. do that maybe have a leaf here have him on top of that however you want to do it put a flower in the bottom maybe have have a butterfly up in the corner move this down you could do you know partial stuff it doesn't have to be you know they just woke up from their nap it doesn't have to be perfect. It, it just, you know, you just do it the way you like to do it. And you can maybe put another flower here. And then, um, where is it? I have a yellow moon here. Hearing, so we could take the moon off of it. You can move the butterfly, you could switch him around, and then you can have have this even down below even more. And you could do a moon up here. Like that. Like that. And what else do we have? Possibilities are endless. Depends on the stuff you have, but you can always make it work with a little imagination. Put that on there. I mean, I mean, look how fast and easy that is. You know? And um, then you could take and make a border with the chain if you want. You could take some chain and glue it around the edges of it. You know, like that if you want. That would look real pretty. Give you an idea of that. Just take the chain off here. Like that. And then, you know, you maybe have it going up each side or something. Up, up and down each side. That would look pretty cool. He's a little crooked now. Just like that. You could do little um, balls around there, beads, whatever you want. I had a little 
can't find it now. I mean, we use quite a bit of this stuff. And then if you wanted to do more, um, if you wanted to do more leaves, you know, you could just do the whole bottom with just a bunch of leaves like he's up in the, like he's up in the tree. And that way you're not covering the whole thing. You're just doing part of it, you know? Yeah, you could put glow stars in the background. Whatever you'd like to do. Um, this isn't, this one isn't glued together or anything. I was just, you know, showing you guys another idea of what to do with it. I think the moon should go like that. And I don't, I don't have anything here that looks like stars at the moment. I didn't pick anything. I have stuff that are stars, but I didn't pull any, I didn't pull any stars themselves. I don't see anything here. Otherwise I would. But, um, this just giving you guys a basic idea of the type of things that you can do. Let me try to put him here and we'll move this back over here so you can see both things Let's see if I can fit them both in the picture all right maybe we'll switch them don't go up there don't go up there mm -mm -mm that we'll put him right no no mouse no mouse here we go and here we go and hopefully that gets you guys a better idea of some things that you can make and there's always always things you can embellish you can find things around your house that you can embellish embellish a cup embellish your pencil holder um embellish your cell phone case you know put a design on the front of your your case that you carry your laptop in um all sorts of things all sorts of things you can embellish with the jewelry and turn it into art just trying to get that there you want to buy the owl one? Hello, Thrift Things 365. How are you? If you would like the owl, please um, please email me and you can have the owl. I will just glue everything down on the owl. I'll glue everything down and um, sure. Sure, no problem. You can have the owl. It's a one of a kind. So I want to thank everybody for being here. I don't know what the tutorial is going to be for next week. I will figure something out, but I hope you got inspired with this stuff. I will be making more bits and pieces bags and selling them soon. And I guess I will see you guys at the next auction slash sale. Hope to see you guys there. If you guys have any questions, just uh, spew them out now. And um, I would love to see you guys when you make things. If I inspire you to make things, I would love to see you post them in my group on Facebook. I really would. I would love to see you guys doing some stuff. I would love to have see some of you as a guest and we can do a working hangout. You don't have to be working on the same project as me or we can be working on the same project. Um, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We can do it either way. I would love to have more ideas. If you guys could email me with ideas and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Short and sweet, We're running an uh, hour and a half. So that's my limit right now. And um, I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know what next week's going to be. So give me some ideas, guys.
you want to be a, uh you want to be a guest on and you want to show me something that you make i would love to see lisa making her spiders and her scorpions that would be kind of cool or maybe i can make a wire dragonfly for you guys i don't know we'll we'll run the gamut and see but hopefully we'll be able to use upcycled stuff here and there so oh good yeah i got all these pla i got a basket full of plaques for four dollars so um here it is i'm too hopefully it shows up flipping crazy at g mail.com can you guys see my email in the chat let me know if, they, if, if they're showing up now or not if not i'll pin it so you can see the email but just can you guys see my email in there i know we have the lag you can see it okay Okay, great. All right, it's working now. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Debbie wants to know when sale is. What sale? Oh, the next auction sale? Probably Thursday, guys. Thursday. Thursday. I don't think it's going to be any sooner because I have a ton of stuff to do here. So it's looking like Thursday. But thank you guys so much. I'm going to go ahead and stabilize this for Patricia. And um, if anybody's interested in the box, let me know. Where? Here. On this channel. Flipping crazy. <laughs> Thursday. So I'll probably make a thumbnail for it tomorrow or Wednesday. And I might do another pop-up pre-recorded, guys, for something else. I'm going to close out the uh, pop culture sock pop-up and the natural stone artisan pendant pop-up tonight. So if you want something from there, grab it before I close out the sale. Yep, right here on this channel. That's why I ask everybody, make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, set it to all. Also join the group on Facebook. Uh, flipping crazies auction sales and more and that's where i also post my stuff so you get a heads up and oh no i don't do facebook i i've never done facebook i i, I hate even watching the ones on facebook I, I the lag is so bad for me and if if you type too much it kicks you out of the chat it's terrible so um yeah i do all my stuff here on youtube at the moment i do so thank you everybody for watching. I hope you had a good time. If anybody's interested in the box, please feel free to email me also. And um, thank you so much, guys. I will see you soon. And uh, have a great evening. Love you guys. Bye. Have a good one. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate your support. Bye, guys. Please comment after the thing is over. Comment on YouTube in the comment section. Thank you guys, and please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.